for all those of you who were disappointed in the lack of characters that were announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and were not satisfied at all at the end of it and were still seeking more, I have the glorious little list just for you. This is a list of other characters that were secretly revealed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that you just didn't realize about. Now, first part of the list is for the Dragon Ball characters. This character here, that you may have seen before, Cloud, was actually secretly a fusion between Future Trunks and Goku. Most people say it's just Future Trunks, but that's a lie. If you take a closer look, he has traits. He has traits of both Goku and Future Trunks. As you can see, he has the same kind of hairstyle as Goku, but at the same time, he's a sword fighter. One thing that he keeps intact though is that he still hits really hard like both Goku and Future Trunks. He's already in Super Saiyan and he can charge up his energy to ascend to the next level. And also on top of that, he can glide across the stage at very high speeds. Similar to how Goku and Future Trunks can fly around the stage. However, since this character is a fusion, when this character charges up its energy and breaks the limits, not only does this character ascend into Ultra Instinct, which is Goku's highest form obviously, but also transforms into Super Saiyan Rage at the same time. The name of this fusion is actually Ultra Instinct Super Saiyan Rage Goku Trunks. Like you know how there is Goku Black and then regular Goku? Well, this is Goku Trunks. Vegeta made it into the game as a character. And he can even transform into the Great Ape form for his final smash. Piccolo's there but they made him look weak. Krillin's there and he can use destructive disc. Freezer's there. Golden Freezer's there. Frost. And even Hit is in the game. Kid Goku's there and the side special is coming on the arm. Adult Gohan is there and his final smash is a Super Kamehameha and Dragon Fist which is something that should have been exclusive to Goku but you know they have to give Gohan a little shine you know what I'm saying Imperfect Cell is in the game and I know lots of people are gonna complain about how he's imperfect that's obviously why he looks so atrocious Margin Boo's there. My man Beerus, God of Destruction, is in the game. Zamasu is in the game. Bulma is there. Hell, even Vados and Omega Shenron are in the game. Many will get offended when I say that Kid Trunks is in the game as well. The man with the wolf hand is in the game, Yamcha, my boy, he is there. I'm sure that there are many more Dragon Ball characters beyond the ones I just mentioned. So let me just move on to the next part of the list. And next up we have the Marvel characters. Get ready, it's gonna be a bumpy ride, there's lots of different Marvel characters Backed into this game that you never knew about. First up, we have Thor, God of Thunder, Captain America, Iron Man. And you want to know what's really funny? They put Spider Woman instead of Spider Man in the game. You'd think that they'd put Spider Man first, but no. They just had to put Spider Woman before they could even think about Spider-Man being in the game. Vision. Vision is in the game. Black Widow is in the game. 
Black Cat is in the game. Venom is in the game, and like usual, of course, he can absorb his enemies and get the powers. Green Goblin is there. The Hulk is in the game. So right now I'll just say, Wolverine and Black Panther are both in the game. Now moving on to the X-Men, since I already listed most of the Avengers are in the game. In the game, there are two versions of Quicksilver. There's this version of Quicksilver that portrays version of Quicksilver who was from Avengers Age of Ultron who could only move at the speed of Mach 4 at the fastest and you know just wasn't fast enough and ended up getting shot by a bullet and died so yeah there's this slow version of Quicksilver from Age of Ultron in the game and then there's the version of Quicksilver from X-Men Apocalypse who moves so fast that time almost looked like it stopped around him. And of course everyone's gonna like this version more. And of course you can't have Quicksilver in the game without his trusty twin Scarlet Witch. Storm from X-Men is in the game. Your favorite villain of all time Thanos is in the game. Ultron is in the game as well. Hawkeye is there. Deadpool's in the game, bro. There's probably a shit ton of other Marvel characters just waiting to be announced by me. But of course, I can't announce all of them at once, so. Moving on to the other list of characters. Now let's talk about DC. Now. Batman in the game could either be two options. It could either be this character here or it could be this character. I'll let you be the judge of that. You decide which one will be the better Batman. Will it be that one or this one? You decide. Wonder Woman is in the game. Wow, holy shit, the Flash is in the game. Cyborg is in the game. Beast Boy is in the game, but you can only play as him in his gorilla form. I guess you can say that Raven is sort of in the game, but not really. Superman's not in the game, Aquaman's not in the game, Green Lantern's not in the game. And it's because those characters just suck ass. Moving on to the Naruto characters in the game. So of course, first off we have Naruto himself, he can do um, Rasengan and all that shit. Then we have Sasuke, he 